Hello fellow racers and welcome to this video, welcome to the new series I wanted to invent for the Assetto Corsa competition, and guys, literally because the game is super popular right now, everybody like it, including me, and guys, I want to do a little help for you and for everybody else, because uh, I got some requests, and long story short, I want to do a series of the videos which will be uh, called like a truck guide into the Assetto Corsa, we will basically go, there's only 10 tracks right now, so we will basically go for all the race tracks in a game in the next future videos in the next couple of weeks uh, I'm gonna be starting with Toldor because he's on the top <laughs> in a in a yeah in Asero Corsa Competizione and basically what we're gonna do we're gonna take the aggressive preset setup on uh, on the car some random car for this race uh, for this track in Toldor Belgium I took the Lexus and we're gonna do a couple of laps we're gonna do a couple of hot laps uh, I'm gonna show you my lines I'm gonna show you my braking points and then we take a, like a proper look together how to improve and how to be faster, some tips and tricks, how to drive the car, how to steer the car, what to be careful about and how to use the track for maximum. And I'm already talking too long, so let's go guys on the racetrack and let's kick some other ass in multiplayer later on, thanks to some little tips. So I hope you guys enjoy, let's go for the racing. Solder is very easy track all together for a racing line, but it's a very technical track as well because there is a lot of curbs, you have to use the all the racetrack uh, you have two chicanes and you have to cut a lot, especially in the second chicane, you have to cut a lot and there's a lot of bumps. Uh, as a record, competition is very forgiving because it's very compared to close to the real because in real life they are they are cutting the tracks a lot and we're gonna do the same thing here. But you have to pay attention for very very a lot of details over the bumps and everything. So, okay, we have seen the one lap about the talking 28-0, kind of decent lap. Now we're gonna do some proper talking here. Breaking before the sign on the up top, later apex into the first corner, using the curb on the exit, no problem. Going swiftly to the left, later apex into the second corner. Watch out for the bumps, watch out for the outside and inside curb as well. Very, very easy here, this section, full throttle, no problem. Important corner right now. Breaking later, turning a little later, hitting the apex later on the throttle because the, 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 the corner is very is a little bit closing so you have to be later on the throttle there late breaking into the hairpin, uh, into the chicane, sorry killing the apex there, killing the first curb you can jump over curbs, doesn't matter, it was a little slower now but uh, I was too wide there on the right lander breaking hardly into the next chicane, you wanna cut a lot but be careful on the big bumps there you can see the Corsa Corsa is very forgiving there, as in real life. Full throttle here if you align the car properly, but be very, very careful. It's very, very, very hard to put it there. Breaking the chicane here before the pre-order mark on the first gear. Easy on the throttle, a little bit bumpy there, a little bit slippery on the exit. Don't mind that. You have to be very careful though. Interesting breaking into the last chicane, again, before the blue, blue uh, bridge. A little later here into the apex. You can cut it a little bit, but be careful, there's a big bump there over the over the curb. Same as the right-hander as well. 
And then we go for a full up again. Very, very slow on uh, cold tires. Break him before the mark. Later apex. You don't want to touch that curb too much. Using all the racetrack again. Later apex, later turn into this corner. Either early on the throttle. So you want to use the whole power of the car. Now we have warm tires. So it's going to be easier to do the lap. Again, later into the corner. Later on the full throttle because the car really want to understeer on the exit and you don't want to go into that gravel tire because it will slow you so much. You want to hit the left one a little bit, the curb. Jump over the curbs there, it was too much again, but yeah, we didn't lose too much time. It's a very aggressive, aggressive driving here. Decide to hit the sh second chicane early, early. Almost hit that cone there if you want to have the best lap there. The other course is unbelievable before giving hero penalties. Full throttle on this right hand, really, really on the edge. And unbelievable how other course is forgiving <laughs> in the chicane. You don't want to do that in other games. But in real life, they cut a lot. Bad exit from the hairpin, but it was decent, decent run. In real life, they cut a lot as well. <laughs> A little late braking, but let's do early apex here. You can see the bump here as well in here. A little easier on the throttle, guys. Very, very gentle. And then we finish the lap. A little slower again. I didn't nail the last game, but it's okay. And now we should take a proper look from the helicopter view. So we can uh, take a look again on the lines and everything on the race car, guys. I hope you enjoy and let's go check it, check it out. All right, guys. So here we are in the helicam. We go for a proper composition of the lab here we are together here the first corner is very important as i said i'm breaking basically before the top sign on the top the state of art racing we need to go for a little later apex there the corner want to steer you early but that's wrong you have to steer way way later into the first corner so you hit the proper apex because the corner is a little bit closing in the middle of the there you can see it in the view here you're just kissing the wall on the outside you are watching the apex on the left side but you're still going straight so hit it properly there into the first corner here you can see you're hitting the corner you can see the corner is closing there from this view you go over the curb easy easy left hander and then we go for the first right hander here over the bumps a little bit easy on the throttle but you can really on the fresh tires hit the car properly use all, all the racetrack a little bit later apex into the fast corner there be careful on the throttle, be later on the throttle because you really don't want to go over those bumps into the gravel because that will cost you 4, 5 tenths of a second if you will go too wide there on the exit. Basically in the corner you want to really go later on the throttle because otherwise the car will just slide on the outside, go on the lot of understeer. It's a very understeer corner so you have to be very careful now. First chicane now, very important place, you can lose and gain so much time then, you have to really have a balls there just to kill the car there. You really want to hit the first left hander curb, just a tiny bit, just a little bit, like a half quarter of the car maximum, and then the right curb. If you align the car properly, the right curb on the exit, you can hit it with the full car. Depends really of your settings of the car, depends of the, of the car, some cars doesn't like it. Lexus is very forgiving, so is Nissan, so is Bentley, so you can really cut it over from this view. You can see we are just aligning the car here between the middle beautifully over the curbs there big jump over the curb and no problems easy on the throttle you have to be really like you want to hit the throttle after you bump down going down to under breaking into the chicane really super super forgiving corner for cutting in after the course i don't know if they will fix it or is this on purpose in real life they do the same thing you have to do the yellow thing is big bumps big holes in the ground there you have to be careful of those you have to be very careful of the throttle there you don't want to have too much too much of the throttle and you don't have to have uh, you don't want to have too little there so you want to hit the first apex you can cut it a little bit less than the first one you have to go a little bit between the middle kiss the the cone watch out for the bump there in the like almost three quarters there and then you go for the left hander which you can basically cut always into the cone left hander cone and you can really cut the corner a lot it's basically just practice and be careful on the bump as well there because the car really want to slide there over it really nice and easy on the exit don't want to hit that uh, red curve because it will bunch you too much full throttle on the exit into the forest here left hander section on the short straight where it's very good for opportunities for overtaking hard braking into the hairpin easy corner just align the car for the exit have a perfect exit there straight on the curb it doesn't matter you can just go straightly another nice overtaking spot into the last chicane 
Again, using all the race track, all the curve, breaking be before the bio racer sign. There are two ways you can take this left hander corner. Uh, I don't know if both, it really depends on your style, really depends on the car. You can risk it and you can cut a lot, basically the low line. You can, want, you want, you can go with the left wheel over past the big red corp on the left side. But be careful because the car can hit the bottom there. So basically my optimal is with the left wheel to be in the middle on this red thing, the bumpy thing. Right hander, very bumpy as well. You want to have a good exit for the start finish line. I'm not saying it's a very good, good overtaking opportunity, but you can try a lot of bumps there on the exit. So be careful again on the throttle, full throttle after the car aligns. And this is the lap of the solder in Acid Records. I come to see you guys. I hope you enjoy. So this is it guys, this is how you do a proper lap on a solder with Acero Corsa Competizione. Let me know in the comments if this is helpful, if you want to continue with the videos like this. We can take a lo lot more proper look on all the remaining 9 tracks on the Acero Corsa in the dry conditions with various cars on every track. We will try the different car and if it's gonna be too little, we will do the same thing in the rain as well. So guys, let me know if you enjoy this, if it's helpful for you, if you enjoy the tips and everything. And let me know in the comments guys, make sure to subscribe, make sure to check me out on a twitch if you want to follow my live stream as well and yeah guys we'll see you in the next video boys bye bye hey guys did you know that if you want to support me and want to help my channel grow and everything you can share all the videos with your friends and your communities as well and if you want to financially help me a little bit you can check my patreon as well or you can subscribe to me on a twitch where i'm streaming all the time so make sure to check it out guys as well appreciate all the support guys and make sure to see you in the next video guys bye bye